Have you ever had a workout end like this? Um, um yeah, um, my last workout in Utah ended. Oh, with the lights cutting yeah, off? Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Um, they didn't pay the bill. Yeah, yeah, something like that, but yeah, you know, that's what happens when you shoot the lights out, man. You're making every shot. So this one will be memorable then. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Today's workout, overall. Today's workout was really good. Um, really competed. You know, um, this is uh, one of the first workouts where we did all all comp competition. You know, we lot, a lot of stuff we were doing is full court um, shots and things like that. But um, we were really able to play basketball and show what we can do and show our IQ. So um, I really like this workout. We were able to go against each other. Um, me and uh, um, Rashad were able to match up one on one. So um, it was a great workout for me. Compare workouts from city to city, or does it change just depending on what they have you do? Yeah, it just it just changes. You know, it depends on the personnel and who they have. Um, one of my workouts was four guards, so um, it's like four to six players. So it, it's different. They have a lot of similar drills, three on two, um, um, back to three on three. Um, but a lot of full court three on three stuff is what's consi the most consistent with um, all the all the workouts I've gone through. This is my ninth one, so um, it's, they, they change it up a little bit, but it's I'm fairly the same. How are you feeling after nine workouts? I'm tired. I'm ready to go back home and just relax a little bit. And um, I have three days off before my uh, flight to my next workout. So um, I'm just looking forward for that, to that. What's the biggest thing that you want teams to know about you on court and off court? On the court, just I'm a competitor. You know, I do whatever it takes to win, whether it's not on the floor, cheering for my teammates. Uh, my overall thing is to be the most competitive guy out there, hardest working, and, and, and look to get W's and get wins. Um, off the court, I'm laid back. You know, no, not a problem. You know, um, you don't have to worry about me getting in trouble or anything like that. So um, that's what I want the, uh, the teams and the coaching staff to know about me. I'm a hardworking guy, laid back, and um, high character. Do you consider like an NBA-ready skill, something you could bring to a team like day one? Day one, my, well, I, my, my grit, my toughness, and defense. Um, um, that's something that always translates to the NBA really well. And my athleticism, I'm able to get up in guys and create steals, get out in, on the break and finish at the rim and get to the free throw lines. Those are, uh, athleticism and defense are things you can go on from day one and, and compete chance to talk with the coaching staff at all in these workouts or is it just more you doing work them observing if you get if, if they say something to you afterwards then yeah yeah um, um they do a good job of setting up um, interviews after our workouts and um, being able to sit down ask um, questions get to know you um it's really relaxed and, and chill environment so you're able to go up to them talk to them ask them about games what, what you need to improve on things like that to give your um, your feedback so um i really like it how they're they're open and, and willing to listen and help their guys out is there anyone that you've met kind of along the way in this process, a, a coach, uh, someone in the front office, another player going from city to city that sort of stands out? Um, I think everybody, every, the, the coaching staff really is all unique. You know, every, every city you go to, you get a different um, coaching staff. Um, a little bit of it sticks with you um, in every city you go to. You're always trying to learn something and pick up something because these guys have been doing it um, um, for a really long time in the NBA. And, and especially me, I want to be one of those guys, a marquee guy in, the, in this league eventually. I'm going in. That's one of my goals, and um, I'm always trying to nitpick and um, um, pick their brains about about the league and just what I got to do to prepare myself and, and get ready for the next level.